Terrorists, assassins, mafia bosses, serial killers. The Russian courts have given them the maximum penalty. Life imprisonment. Here, that really means until the end of their lives. They are all imprisoned on Fire Island, the island of the damned. For centuries, during the time of the Tsars, the prison was a monastery. Now, it houses 200 dangerous criminals. No one has ever managed to escape. Articles 105 and 103 of the Russian Criminal Code deal with murder. Sex offender and killer Levanov cruelly and brutally murdered his girlfriend. Guards search Levanov's cell. They're looking for anything that could be used as a weapon or a means of escape. All larger objects are fixed into place to prevent them from being used in a riot situation, says the deputy prisoner governor. All secured. The beds are welded to the floor. Cells like these always accommodate three or four inmates. The only place with any privacy is the toilet. That's bolted to the floor, too. The lights, plumbing system, it all works. The ventilator gets rid of the smoke very quickly. We can also see everything the men do in their cells through the security cameras. And we can maintain contact with the prisoners through an intercom system without any risk to ourselves. Move it. Okneni Ostrov, the Fire Island, is Russia's oldest maximum security prison. Surrounded by sparsely populated marshlands, the once orthodox monastery looms above Lake Novozero, similar to Alcatraz in San Francisco Bay. The penitentiary IK-5 lies around 600 kilometers north of Moscow, surrounded by the 12 square kilometer lake. The neighboring island of Sladki, which means sweet, is mainly home to prison guards. Many of them still live in rundown wooden huts from Soviet days. In some places on Lake Novozoro, time seems to have stood still. Seven o'clock in the morning. The early shift takes over. More patrols. Walls and fences are checked again. In the prison sewing shop too, the working day begins. The prisoners here are volunteers. The job is a privilege. Anyone hoping to get out after 25 years does his best to get his hands on one of the few sewing machines to earn money for a life in freedom. And when did you find your faith? Three years after the tattoo on my back. Is that prisoner you? Yes, above me is God, who forgives our sins. 
сверху Бог, сверху в ленте, прости, Господь, грехи земные. And you really are religious today? Yes. So you found your way to God in prison? Yes, after the sentence of death by firing squad. When was that? 1994. In the summer, temperatures can reach 35 degrees Celsius. In winter, they can fall to minus 30. Comrade Lieutenant Colonel, nothing to report. In this wing, there are 88 prisoners. 21 present the risk of escape. We're in wing four, which, as I said, underwent a complete refurbishment two years ago. During the building work, we discovered historic frescoes and had them restored. This one is Methodius. And there's also a Cyril fresco that's been preserved. Why was a monastery like this converted into a prison? It was an obvious choice because of its location on an island. Total submission, no answering back, and don't do anything wrong. From his own experience, Yuri Levanov knows the rules of the game that can get him paroled. In his first prison term for child abuse, the good behavior strategy had worked. But there is one decisive difference between then and now. At that time, Levanov was in a normal prison camp. Now. After having committed a particularly brutal murder, he's serving a sentence of life imprisonment on the island of the damned.